Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Today I'm going to show you how to enable the uh, Zoom and WebEx experience in the new Microsoft Teams Room app uh, 4.6.20. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to switch to the touchscreen. So this is the touchscreen display that you'd see with a normal Microsoft Teams room. It's the t it's the uh, touchscreen that's usually on the table, sometimes on an armoire or even wall mounted. So um, nothing new to see here, really. Um, if you just hit more and then go to settings and then authenticate. This takes you to the settings page behind the actual uh, Teams Room app on the table. So I'm just going to switch over to the meetings tab. So as you can see, you've got automatic screen sharing, show meeting names and leave automatically when there's nobody else there. These are these are things that have been added for a little while. But what you can also see down here in third party meetings, you've got the ability to uh, use WebEx and also Zoom. Zoom, as you can see, is in public preview. So I'm just going to enable Zoom. Uh, you've also got two other options. So you got join with the room info. So that's the info that's on the room itself. So whatever the room is actually called, um, or you can join with custom info. So if I just tap into custom info, you can type a name and an email address. So this could be, you know, whatever you want to use um, to join that Zoom meeting or that WebEx meeting. It might be different to the actual room itself, um, a different way of identifying you. But I'm just for now, I'm just going to join with join with room info. So normally when I press save and exit, the uh, if you're enabling this for the first time, it will actually go and reboot the room. But I've already gone, I've already done that for you. Um, so you don't have to wait. Uh, I would just pause the video anyway, if, if even if it hadn't happened. So I'm just going to press save and exit. So nothing new on the on the screen, nothing to identify that Zoom is actually uh, a feature that you've actually got. But if I go and press accept on a meeting that I've already scheduled. And as you can see, that's now appeared on the touch screen. You can see that it's different to a normal Teams meeting uh, because, you know, it's got the, the, the default Zoom colors, you know, the Zoom logo itself. But crucially, it's also got a join button. So if I go ahead over here and on another screen, I'm going to go ahead and join the Zoom meeting. So now I'm joined in the, to the Zoom meeting. This is the Zoom meeting itself. Um, you can see me on the screen. So I've got video, I've got the option to screen share and all of that kind of thing. I'm just going to drag this over so it's out of the way. Now from the MTR, again, this is just the normal touch screen. I'm going to go ahead and press join. So this is what it's like to actually join the Zoom meeting. So once you're in, so this is the, uh, the touch screen on the table. So you've got the normal meeting controls that you would expect. So this is the room control app from Yealink where I can adjust the PTZ of the camera or switch between presets. Um, also enable things like auto framing uh, and that sort of thing. Now, if I flick this little switch here, um, show a meeting on this device, that actually moves the Zoom meeting actually to the uh, touch screen itself. Um, it's a bit of an odd one uh, to get your head around, but I think it's a quite a nice experience because you've not only got your picture on the uh, in-room display at the front of the room, but you've also got it on the tablet here. You wouldn't necessarily stare down at the tablet like I'm doing here because the participant, which is over there, uh, over there with the camera, is uh, just going to see the top of your forehead. So you would probably use this um, just to get out some specific controls, but you would actually talk to the participant using the in-room audio and video at the front of the room. So the reason you would want to switch this on is to, to get out some additional controls. So from here, I can obviously change my self view and kind of move that, drag that around the screen, which is quite nice. So it's not hidden around. So I know kind of what I look like to the participant on the far end. Um, I've got the leave button, of course, uh, in addition to the big leave button that you would get normally, but also I get out the participants. So if I just tap on participants, I can see who's in the meeting. I've got the meet control. I've got the raise hand function. Uh, so if I go ahead and raise hand, um, you know, if I'm looking at the Zoom meeting on the other the other side, um, you can see that um, that conference room or that account or, or, or user has actually raised their hand. So I'm just going to go ahead and lower hand 
Um, you can uh, add more participants, you can uh, mute and unmute and that sort of thing. But what's really great is, you know, this is something you can't do from a Microsoft Teams room is actually start to chat. So I've already started chatting, but you've also got the chat. So if you chat back and forth between participants in the Zoom meeting, I think that's an additional experience that kind of over and above what you would get with the Microsoft Teams room currently. Uh, you used to be able to do that on the Skype room system app or the SRS. Um, but, um, and, and even LRS, I think before that had chat, but for right now, you can't do that on a, in a, in a, a normal teams meeting on an MTR. So I'm just going to tap chat to get out of that. One thing you'll notice that's missing though, is, uh, content ingest or sharing. So you can't actually share using the Microsoft teams room app, um, into the zoom meeting. Um, it doesn't work with, uh, plugged in or uh, wireless wireless content sharing. You just can't share. I'm not sure if that feature is coming. It would be nice if it was because sometimes in the Microsoft Teams room, you do have somebody in there that wants to present into it. But you know, if that's really an issue, you could always join the Zoom meeting on your laptop and uh, drive content there because obviously you've got the full breadth of the Zoom app itself uh, for sharing. Um, and really to me, that's that's kind of the only thing that's missing right now. Right, so today I've shown you how to enable the Zoom function in the current Microsoft Teams Room app 4.6.20, which is uh, rolling out now. So when you do enable that feature, the Microsoft Teams Room will automatically reboot, um, which only takes a couple of minutes. Uh, once it's back up, you don't have to do anything else. Once you receive a Zoom invite, you can see you've got the giant Zoom meeting invite uh, on the screen. Uh, it's a big blue box with the Zoom logo, so it's quite obvious that it's a Zoom meeting and you've got a join button. Once you're in, I would recommend toggling the show the meeting on the um, on, on this device to get out the extra controls for participants and for chat. And that's it. I hope this has been useful. Um, I'll see you in the next video.